Hello everybody, Gowner here with the team for Kadaja's Lufenia. I'm going to be bringing Garland, Paladin Cecil, and Theodore, and I forgot to get a friend. Uh, I want blue armor. Right, yeah. And it, I feel like Garland isn't quite the best fit for this, but... Well, he looks like he isn't quite a good fit for it, but he has a passive speed down, which does make this thing a lot... I guess more straightforward. There's definitely a lot more breathing room because of that speed down, I think. Yeah, and I feel like, uh, I forget how to pronounce it. I'm gonna go with Sayador. Yeah, he, I feel like he's pretty flexible. He can probably be replaced with a good amount of people. I just brought him because, well, first off, it'd be nice to use him for a bit. But, uh, yeah, he can also apply a Holy Resist down, which I think does work nice with Cecil. Because I figured if they're going to be cleansing a lot, it'd probably be nice to have another source of Holy Resist down. And Cecil's here because he has a lot of stuff, you know, he has the... HP damage reduction, he has the HP damage up, he has enchanting. So he's doing a lot. Alright, I'm gonna get that enchanting for Golbez. Not Golbez, Garland. They're very similar to me. I'm probably going to mess it up again later on. Alright, so hopefully this doesn't do too much to Garland. Had to actively work to remember that. And now he's not at full HP. Okay, I'm kind of glad that wasn't ready now. I should probably try to make sure that B doesn't accidentally fall below the threshold and cleanse itself. It's not necessarily like a fight ender if you do get petrified, but it is definitely slow you down. Okay, that didn't actually look like all too much. Alright, that did a pleasant amount of damage. Yeah, and I should probably rip off that band-aid. I am happy with the timing that he was fully capped on Brave when he did this. That was just pretty lucky. Alright, he's gonna get broken, but he is gonna put on, uh, holy resist down. And they gotta remember, at this threshold, they are going to, uh, what is it called? They're gonna do that brave gain thing. So I should probably try and make sure they get to that threshold at around the same time, because... I guess natively on the team, the only source of a uh, instant brave 
instant gravity, I guess I have this Amy's call on Theodore. I originally also brought a X Dust call on Cecil just for extra insurance, but I kind of realized I didn't need it because it turns out when I bring out Golbez, he does a lot more damage than I thought he was going to do. Alright, looks like A is a, at about that point. Alright, let me see if this... Oh, why did I think he had his EX ready? Alright, well this is basically the reason why I brought on Unite's call. I mean, there's probably a better call you can use out there, but I just wanted, wanted it just for the slight convenience. Still at 80%. I can still work with that. Alright, a lot of space between them. Alright, free skill. And Amy call. Alright, that should slow them down, like, a lot. And that got rid of that effect. And, right, I did do- I did mess up the turn order right there. And that one actually has Holy Resist down, so I'll attack that one. And it looks like it's time I start using some more LDs, because I just realized some effects are getting close to running out. Oh, I forgot they gained a lot of brave. Alright, well his reca A's recast is ready. It's not a super huge deal. Alright, I'll just go ahead and use this LD now. I guess it's probably a good idea to force A under that threshold, and now that I realize I already attacked it. Because I can just apply some debuffs before it attacks again.
All right, I just used this EX, so I'm gonna use this LD. All right, because I don't want anything bad to happen to Cecil, I'm gonna use this Divine Heal to hopefully give him some battery. Alright, that looks like enough. Oh, okay, happen to A. Free skill, gonna hit that. Gonna hit A. You know, I can I can probably do this, even if it's wasteful. Alright, free skill, use it on that. I'll go for a launch. And you know what? I think on Sador's next turn, I'm actually going to go ahead and swap him out. Yeah, Golbez's burst will definitely drop A below the threshold. Okay, yeah. I think it's a good idea. Alright, dropped A below the threshold, B, nah, it didn't. Alright, honestly not too big a deal. Oh, please don't break. Oh, I should have did Saints Fall, actually. Alright, well, please miss. Oh, wait, that one's going. Never mind, everything ended up extremely well done. Alright, so I'm gonna use Cryo's LD call. So that Garland is gonna have gonna be hitting weakness damage in his burst. I had to actively work to remember that name because now both Garland and Gulbas are on the screen. Screen. I think it's a good idea to launch off this. Okay, yeah, that was that was the right call. Yeah, brave gains are heavily reduced right now, but he is still doing a lot of brave damage. Alright, well, it looks like they're gonna definitely be going below 50% at the end of this burst.
Okay, yeah, it looks like they, that is gonna happen. They are dropping below 50 by the end of this. Oh yeah, and another another nice thing about using Kryl's Call, uh, Golba's also got that weakness damage boost up. So that means he's gonna be dealing good damage even though he does not have his EX buff active. Alright, nice. I'm very happy with that damage. Alright, and now I'm going to summon... Alright, so let's see what this does with... A lot of effects going on for Gobuzz right now. Alright, yeah, that, that looks about right. The next time, I, th I think the next time it'll just straight up be hitting the cap. Uh, yeah, I should just go ahead and use this. Because there's a higher HP cap and all that. Alright, now that Gulbuzz's BT effect is stronger... This just might hit the cap, because I remember I think my friend Gobuzz on the... I attempted this earlier worked. Yeah. I also discovered that last time I choked horribly, so hopefully I don't do that now. Then again, if I do, you're probably not going to see it. Alright, they did that. Doesn't really mean much. Wow, okay. Alright, another black thing. Alright, yeah, I think I need to do this and then C65 with Cecil on his next turn, because Garland won't be hitting weakness damage. And let me see, I should hit B. Because B is going to go and then it's going to cleanse. Well, B is going to cleanse itself and then I'll have its recast ready. Oh, things look really hairy right now. <laughs> Alright, B is targeting... The one on the left. Golbez, oh my god.
Alright, they're targeting Cecil and Golbez. Alright, Golbez really should be fine because for some reason he innately got, um, very high HP damage reduction. I mean, not really complain, but it's more like a why. But he has it now, and it is very potent. Hopefully Cecil doesn't die. I mean, he has a lot of HP. I don't think he'll die. Okay. That's really all I needed. Still got another one of these. You know what, probably should wait for uh, Sador to get back to use that, but whatever. As long as I don't choke like I did last night, I am I consider this all fine. Yeah, because I don't think they're going to be doing their recast anytime soon. Alright, so right off the bat, I should do that to slow them down. Actually, I probably could have waited for their last threshold, but whatever. You know, it's kind of painful to do so, but... Wait, only think about the turn order. Because if everybody were to get broken, B would get another turn. Okay, that's actually not too bad. Because I don't think this all attack is all too scary. Alright, looks like I'm L using another LD. I can hang on to it. This last 10% is just going to be a real slog, huh? You know what? They might actually just get the recast up again. Alright, come on. Let's see if this isn't miserable. <laughs> oh, no weakness damage. And bye bye burst effect. Okay, five and seven. Five and six. Alright, I, yeah, I should just focus one down because I've later found out the reason why I choked last night. I got worried that they might enrage, so I did not kill one when it had its recast ready. And yeah, because I was worried it would get its recast 
cleanse itself and then use its recast. But I didn't have to worry about that because they do not cleanse if the other one dies. Oh, that's a lot of HP. Alright, looks like A is going to be attacking Sayador. See, this is like the situation I was in last night, except B was the one with the built recast. Oh, I forgot to put Cecil C65 back up. You know, what's the HP damage requirement? 8,000? Okay. Good to know. Oh, come on. Alright, please die. Also, please die. I think they're dead. Okay, finally. Alright, yeah, the last 10% really felt like uh came to a crawl. Yeah, I, I did it for the first time. Gotta remember to do that, because I keep forgetting to do that. Alright, yeah, and that's it for this Lufenia. I forget what the next one is. Oh, wait, it's Bart's. Okay, I can't remember what that... Well, yeah, I don't know what that fight's like, but... I will probably see you for it, if I can do it reasonably.